Hello Taurus and welcome to your February 2020. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Taurus. Taurus, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Taurus, this is for you. We're going to see how this person is feeling about you, Taurus, and if they will take any action in regards to those feelings for you. This is for Taurus. For February 2020, how do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus? Okay, they want another chance. They can't, they're having a hard time staying away from you. There's a strong magnetic attraction here and they want you to give them another shot. Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So they're having a hard time staying away from you, Taurus. And they would love for you to give them another chance. Simple as that. Simple as that, Taurus. So let's see what the tarot has to say for Taurus. This is for Taurus for February 2020. How do they feel about Taurus? If this resonates with you, Taurus, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate that. If this does not resonate with you at all, Taurus, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Taurus out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Taurus. How do they feel about Taurus for February 2020? How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel? They're manifesting. They're trying to call you in. Wow. Okay. All right. So they're coming. They're, they're going to offer you their heart again. Um, there was an ending here and you've been focused on that. And they feel like you've been quite stubborn. They feel like you've been stubborn, Taurus. They have a huge fear of rejection here, but they're coming towards you anyway. Why? Because they have a hard time staying away from you. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So they feel, they feel that pull towards you. They feel like, you know, they're being guided towards you. They're trying to uh, conjure up a second chance here with you. Right? Um, a lot happened between you and this person. And you've been... Uh, focused on that, especially when they come through trying to offer you their heart again, trying to offer you any kind of emotion. You don't look. They have a huge fear of rejection here. Four of Cups, this is water energy. Taurus, before I go any further, I'm going to say this. Um, I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid, so um, you could be dealing with a situation like this right now in the future. Some of you may have already dealt with a situation like this. Cross watchers, keep in mind that this is a general reading and some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So take what resonates, right? So fear of rejection here, they're coming anyway and they're hoping that you look up and see them. This person still cares for you coming through as the King of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign or somebody with strong water in their chart. I've seen a lot of cups being offered to you. This one's got one in his hand. Here it is. Then we've got this on the table. Like I said, they feel um, guided towards you. They feel connected to you. They still, got, they still have love for you, Taurus. Strong feelings. This person may have went through their own transformation and, and really have grown emotionally because of the situation with you. They're coming back. Okay, very charming individual, very charismatic, male or female, doesn't matter. 
but I feel like they have grown emotionally. King of Cups is um, very mature emotionally, so they feel like they've stepped up, right? They've stepped up. And they're coming to offer you emotion again. They feel ignored. Um, they feel left out in the cold by you with this Five of Cups. And I know some of you are going to say, you know what? I don't want to hear about this ex anymore. I want to leave them out in the cold. I want to leave them right where they're at. But this is the energy. And keep in mind, we're going through a Mercury retrograde as well. So, I know. I know. But this is how this person is feeling. They want another chance here. They want to come in from out of the cold. Plain and simple. They feel ignored. They feel shut out by you. They feel like they, you know, like they lost all that time, all that energy. Five of Pentacles, that's Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart with this King of Wands energy. You could have options between two different people. That's for some of you, not all of you. But this X, and I'm going to call it an X, and we'll call them an X. They want to come in from out of the cold. If you have moved on with somebody else, Taurus, um, they don't want you to. So King of Wands, of course, that's fire energy. You could be dealing with fire, somebody with strong fire in their chart, still very much passionate about you. The chemistry's still there. They're still very attracted to you. This person, they could be embracing the King of Cups energy and the King of Wands energy. So no, not only do they have strong emotion for you, but the passion's still there. And that heat, that fire, that flame. And they want to go after what they want. And that is you, Taurus. Okay? That is you. All right. So let's see. They want to warm you back up again, right? And they've been manifesting with this magician card. We have the sword for truthful communication. We have the wand for passion. We have the cup for love. We have the pinnacle for success. And they want all of that. They're pulling from air, fire, water, earth. And they're making it happen. They want to make it happen. They want to work their magic on you, Taurus. Um, right? And they, they very well may be with this card and the way that they're feeling. Um, they're having a hard time letting you go, staying away from you. So they... I don't know. Law of attraction. Is it law of attraction? Is it a little bit more than that? Have they went a step further? You know, trying to put some kind of love spell on you? It's possible. Anything's possible. Right? They have a huge fear of rejection, and they don't want you to turn them down. That's all I know. So, I don't know. All right. Um, they're visualizing. Right? They're praying, they're doing affirmations, and they still have very deep emotion for you. They want another chance and a new beginning with you, Taurus, Ace of Cups. Their emotion still overflows for you. They're still very much deeply in love with you. Okay? And they're getting ready to offer, make you that offer again. They want another chance here. So, um... Death card, Scorpio energy. They know they've got obstacles to clear and they've been trying to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have been talking quite a bit today. <laughs> trying to get some videos out. You could be doing dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart. There was an ending here. It could have been very unexpected. It could have been very dramatic. Taurus, you may have had to pick up the pieces from this ending. Um, maybe they didn't expect you to end it. You know what I mean? So they just want you back. If they're casting a love spell on you, whatever, they, they just want you back, period. <laughs> and what was behind this King of Wands? Six of Cups. Again, when we, and I, and I tend to see this when we go through that Mercury retrograde period, the Six of Cups all the time. <laughs> all the time it pops up during Mercury retrograde. Does it not? I, I mean, 
Six of Cups, someone from your past wanting to return to you. Right? And they're, they're going to try every which way they could possibly think of to do that. For you to accept them back into your life. They want to return to you. Right? You guys may have some sort of like a telepathic communication going on. They see you um, in their dreams. And I just said that to somebody else. I forget who it was. Could have been Aries. But you guys got this soul connection. And they cannot shake it. They, ha they can't shake it. Alright. This is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. For February 2020. How do they feel about Taurus? What actions will they take? How do they feel about Taurus? What actions will they take? They know your worth now, that's for sure. They don't want you to walk away. They don't want you to walk away. Four of um, swords here. The two of you haven't been talking. You have not been talking to this individual. This person needed time to think, clear their mind. They needed time, dare I say it, to kind of grow up. Okay, cross watchers, don't be mad at me. Um, keep in mind, some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, but they're coming back very emotionally mature. So they really had to take time to really think about things and how their behavior affected the situation with you. So they have grown from this. And maybe they even sought out a little bit of counseling or something to help them along the way to make to to help them. To help them realize what's what has been going on and, and their role that they played in the situation. Right? This person looks like they're on a counselor's table. But bottom line with this card, with this four of swords, the two of you have been on a break. There was a breakup, but you have definitely not been talking to this person. Okay? They see your worth now. And they want to come to you with um, an offer. They just, they're ready to just give you their heart. Okay? They don't want you out there singling and mingling. They don't want you single and, in, you know, single in the city, whatever. They don't want that. But they see you and, and how you have um, handled the situation, these obstacles, this ending. And um, they know that you, you're very strong and, and you can handle anything and you're taking care of your business and they, they respect that. Nine of Pentacles, this is the single lady card, right? Male or female, it's earth, this is you. They see you. Maybe they didn't see you before, right? Maybe they didn't see you before, Taurus, but they see you now. They don't want you to walk away. They, they don't want that. They don't want you to walk towards anybody else. And for some of you, I think there's already somebody else in the picture. They don't want you to do that. They, with this Eight of Cups, they want to feel, f fill your cups again because their emotions are overflowing. And here you are walking away from them because... Your cups were empty. Well, they're here to give you that emotion. They're here to give you their heart. Okay. They don't, they don't want this. They don't want you to be away from them. Um, transformation obstacles here. This is the goal that they want with you. They want to get back on track. They want higher levels of commitment with you. They want to prove it to you. Happy partnership, happy family, happy home, Ten of Cups. This has come out quite a bit during these readings as well. They do want a genuine loving commitment here with you. They do. And they want to change. They, they, they themselves want to change. I feel like they've been trying to really work on themselves, Torah. So I feel like they've upped their game and they feel ready and more settled. And with that Ten of Cups there, that's telling me they're ready for commitment. And maybe they weren't ready yet before and now they're now they feel like they're ready right but you know could be you've been dating or you're already seeing someone else they don't like that at all they don't like that at all they want another shot here they want to come back to you and it, there's a possibility 
I mean, they're manifesting the hell out of the situation with you. Okay? They are. They are manifesting a second chance with you here, Taurus. All right. So that's what we've got. That's how they're feeling about you for February 2020. I hope it resonates with you, most of you, all of you. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will leave all of those links down below in the description box. And uh, please do follow the links. Please do follow the links because there are um, imposters out there. People making up fake accounts under my name and it's just not me. So make sure you follow the links that I provide so you can see. Um, the information that see the post that I that I put up um, what else for those of you that are new to my channel welcome and I do have a weekly schedule and a live schedule the weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released um, this week went a little haywire on me I had to take Tuesday off so we're getting back on track now the live schedule I usually go live nearly every day but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. Next week, Taurus, I am going to be working on the February 2020 mid-month reading, so check all of that out. You guys, very good reading here. Um, they're on their way back, and they're hoping and praying you will let them come in from out of the cold. But ultimately, of course, Taurus, that is up to you. So you all have a good evening and you take very good care of yourself and I will talk to you tomorrow, right? And if I don't, happy Valentine's Day. Take care and God bless.